Today we're hosting our first ever drive-through free food distribution at Second Harvest. And this is in response to the tremendous need in the community as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. The situation changes almost every day with people working from home now, uh, students home from school, we're in a stay in place, stay, stay healthy uh, directive and other folks have lost their employment. So there, it's a time of huge uncertainty. And in response to that, we are always committed to getting healthy food out to people in need. So what we're doing today is a first, where we're inviting people to come out and remain in their cars while they're receiving a free box of food that volunteers are, are um, loading directly into the trunks of um, vehicles so that they can remain in their car and we can maintain that social distancing. Uh, we have had a tremendous turnout today, which is really in response to the increased need, the anxiety that everyone's feeling, and this is what we do. We want folks to come on out and receive a box of over 20 pounds worth of fresh and perishable shelf-stable food to be able to tie them um, by for a little while. There are a number of ways that people can help right now as we respond to this crisis. We are able to do the most with monetary donations so that for every dollar donated, we're able to provide food for five meals for families in our community. It's easy to donate, it's easy to make a big difference, so we invite people to visit our website at 2-harvest.org. Uh, we are also looking for donations of food. We have a large bin set up here at our facility in Pasco to accept shelf-stable donations, canned food and other um, other donations and we are also interested in uh, finding additional volunteers. We, uh, we are still in operation where we're receiving bulk donations of food and then having volunteers come out and sort and repack that food that is then shipped out to our area food banks. We're maintaining our social distancing. We of course want people to stay home if they're not feeling well, but this is a great way to still be involved in directly helping families in need right here in our community.